In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NFL games happening on October 20th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NFL games after fully watching this video. Or thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Texans vs. Green Bay Packers The Green Bay Packers are set to host the Houston Texans on Sunday in an exciting inter-conference matchup at Lambeau Field. This American Football Conference vs. National Football Conference clash pits two teams with strong playoff ambitions against one another, drawing plenty of attention from fans across the league. The Texans come into the weekend boasting a 5-1 record, sitting comfortably atop the American Football Conference South. However, the Packers, at 4-2, are hot on their trail and remain highly competitive in a stacked National Football Conference North Division. Historically, Green Bay has had the upper hand in this matchup, winning three consecutive meetings since 2012. Their last encounter took place in 2020, where the Packers secured a convincing 35-20 victory. With both teams aiming to maintain their momentum, this game promises to be a key moment in their respective seasons and a must-watch contest for NFL enthusiasts. This game will feature two teams riding high after dominant performances in their most recent outings. The Texans are coming off a statement win, dismantling the New England Patriots 41-21 to push their record to 5-1. Meanwhile, the Packers impressed with a resounding 34-21. 13 victory over the Arizona Cardinals. Given the way these teams have performed, I initially saw this game as a toss-up. However, with the Texans getting a three-point cushion as underdogs, I'm backing them to cover the spread. Houston may be on the road, but they're riding a wave of momentum right now. Rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud continues to elevate his play, throwing three touchdown passes last week and strengthening his chemistry with star-wide receiver Stephon Diggs. Additionally, running back Joe Mixon looked unstoppable in his return from injury, rushing for 102 yards and adding two touchdowns against the Patriots. With two 100-yard rushing performances in just three games, Games this season, Mixon will likely test Green Bay's defense all afternoon. The Packers' defense, though opportunistic with several takeaways this season, has been vulnerable against the pass. Green Bay ranks among the bottom six in passing yards allowed and has conceded over 260 passing yards in four of its six games, including an unexpected outburst from rookie quarterback Will Levis. This trend suggests that Stroud and Houston's diverse group of receivers could pose serious challenges to the Packers' secondary. On the offensive side, Packers quarterback Jordan Love continues to prove his value, ranking second in the NFL with 12 touchdown passes despite missing two games this season. However, Love's aggressive playing style has also led to some costly mistakes, as he ranks second in the league for interceptions thrown. Houston's secondary is more than capable of taking advantage of any errant throws, as they demonstrated last week when they intercepted top prospect Drake May multiple times. While the Texans' defense has given up its fair share of touchdowns through the air, it ranks third in yards allowed per passing attempt, suggesting that Love will need to pick his moments carefully if he hopes to avoid turnovers. This matchup has the makings of a high-energy shootout between two talented offenses, but given Houston's current momentum and strong play on both sides of the ball, the Houston Texans to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Houston's offense has been firing on all cylinders, with both the passing game and ground attack operating at peak efficiency. Even though the Packers' defense leads the NFL with 17 takeaways so far this season, they have been exploited through the air several times, leaving them vulnerable against a hot quarterback like Stroud. On the other hand, Green Bay's offense has been no slouch, as Love has thrown touchdown passes with ease. That trend is likely to continue against a Texans defense that ranks near the bottom of the league in passing touchdowns allowed. Tied for the second most in the NFL, both teams have shown a tendency to be involved in high-scoring affairs. The Packers' offense, in particular, has consistently exceeded expectations, with 10 of their last 13 wins hitting the over on the projected point total since the start of the 2023 season. That trend has continued this year, with Green Bay posting a 2-0-1 record on overs after a victory. Similarly, Houston has thrived defensively in road games, with two of their three away contests this season going over the total. This pattern highlights 
both teams' ability to produce points, especially when playing in favorable conditions. The weather forecast for Sunday at Lambeau Field suggests ideal conditions for an offensive showcase, with temperatures expected to be around 70 degrees and sunny. These conditions should facilitate efficient passing and allow both offenses to operate at full capacity. Considering the recent scoring performances from both teams and the trends pointing toward high totals, this game presents an excellent opportunity to bet on the over. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Eagles versus New York Giants. The New York Giants will host their divisional rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles, on Sunday, October 20th, in a crucial National Football Conference East matchup. The Giants enter the game with a 2-4 record, coming off a dismal Sunday night football loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, the Eagles currently sit at 3-2 fresh off a much-needed victory over the Cleveland Browns after their bye week. With both teams facing adversity and needing a win to stabilize their seasons, this showdown will be pivotal. The stakes are high as these rivals battle for momentum in what has been a rocky season for both franchises. This National Football Conference East clash represents a turning point for each team's trajectory as they approach the midpoint of the season. On one side, the Eagles will be looking to build off their recent victory, but their narrow win against a struggling Browns team wasn't exactly reassuring. Cleveland's offense, under Deshaun Watson, has been among the least productive in the league, making Philadelphia's win feel less significant. On the other hand, the Giants' 2-4 record belies the competitive nature of their performances. Despite their losses, New York has shown flashes of potential. They narrowly lost by three points to the Washington Commanders, a game in which they played without a kicker. They also outgained the Dallas Cowboys in a five-point loss but were forced to settle for five field goals. In their recent defeat against Cincinnati, the Giants Giants managed to rack up 11 more first downs than the Bengals and limited them to just 17 points. Although injuries have plagued New York's roster in recent weeks, head coach Brian Dabble's team has demonstrated resilience, keeping games close and finding ways to stay competitive. If they can replicate that level of effort, they stand a real chance of success this Sunday. For Philadelphia, this season has looked eerily similar to the struggles they experienced at the end of last year, particularly on offense. Through five games, the Eagles have posted a negative point differential, and quarterback Jalen Hurts has had difficulty protecting the football. The Giants' defensive front will be crucial in applying pressure, which could exacerbate Hurts' turnover issues. Philadelphia's defensive unit has also been underwhelming, ranking 26th in defense adjusted value over average and 23rd in expected points added per drive, making it hard to rely on them for consistency. Daniel Jones, the Giants' quarterback, is coming off a poor performance, but the potential return of wide receiver Malik Neighbors offers hope for their offense giving them a playmaker who can stretch the field. While the Eagles appear to be the more talented team on paper and are healthier now than they have been all season, there are reasons to approach this matchup with caution. The Giants' offense has been limited, particularly when Neighbors has been unavailable, and the Eagles should have the upper hand. However, Philadelphia has struggled to meet expectations all year and barely managed to edge out the Browns in their last game. Poor coaching decisions and inconsistent defense have plagued the Eagles, and they've failed to cover the spread in eight of their last ten games. Additionally, underdogs have had success in recent meetings between these two teams, with the Giants covering in six of the last nine encounters. New York is also 6-2-1 to two to one against the spread as a home underdog in their last nine games, making the New York Giants to cover the spread as underdogs our full game side pick. Low-scoring games have been the norm for the Giants this season, with five of their six contests finishing under the projected total. This trend has been even more pronounced at MetLife Stadium, where the Giants are averaging fewer than 10 points per game across their three home appearances. Offensively, they've only managed to score more than 20 points twice all season, but their defense has stepped up, holding opponents to 20 points or fewer in each of their last four outings. The Eagles have experienced similar struggles on the offensive side, with three of their last four games finishing under the Total. Since their Week 1 win, Philadelphia's offense has failed to surpass 21 points in any game. Though their defense has kept them competitive, holding three of their past four opponents to 22 points or fewer, expect both teams to employ run-heavy game plans, which will shorten the game, reduce possessions, and keep the clock moving. Neither team has displayed much offensive consistency this season, as both have struggled to sustain drives and put together complete performances across all four quarters. With each side still searching for its identity, this matchup is likely to be another low-scoring affair. The Giants' games have gone under the total in five out of six 
six matchups this season, and in contests where the total has been set at 42 points or lower, the under is 2-0. For the Eagles, the under has hit in two of three games where the total was set at 46 and a half points or fewer. Given both teams' offensive struggles and their tendencies to play in low-scoring games, under the projected total is our full-game total pick. Tennessee Titans versus Buffalo Bills. The Tennessee Titans will travel to take on the Buffalo Bills this Sunday at Highmark Stadium. This matchup offers an interesting clash between two teams heading in different directions as the season progresses. Tennessee struggling with a 1-4 record straight up, 1-4 against the spread, and a 2-2-1 over under mark is coming off a narrow 20-17 loss to the Indianapolis Colts last week. Prior to that, the Titans secured their only victory of the season with a convincing 31-12 win over the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, the Buffalo Bills stand at 4-2 straight up, 3-3 against the spread, and 3-3 over under. Buffalo bounced back from a two-game skid by edging out the New York Jets 23-20 on Monday night, looking to regain momentum as they prepare for the Titans. The Bills are considered one of the more well-balanced teams in the NFL this season. They rank third in offensive defense adjusted value over average and 12th in defensive defense adjusted value over average, demonstrating strength on both sides of the ball. The recent addition of Amory Cooper to their receiving core should help inject even more firepower into an already capable offense, which has been seeking consistent playmaking from its past catchers. Notably, Cooper has managed to produce more receptions and receiving yards than any of Buffalo's receivers this season, even while catching passes from the inconsistent Deshaun Watson. Buffalo's rushing attack also came alive during their last game against the Jets, which which provided a much-needed boost to their offensive versatility. The Titans, on the other hand, have been difficult to trust, especially with such inconsistent performances. Even with an eight-point cushion, Tennessee's outlook appears shaky. Their recent game against the Colts exposed significant flaws, particularly against a defense that wasn't considered elite. With leadership questions in the locker room and quarterback Will Levis still struggling with turnovers, it seems unlikely that the Titans will find an immediate turnaround on the road against a seasoned and cohesive Buffalo team. Although Tennessee's strength lies in its ground game, their passing attack remains a major concern. The Titans need to find ways to move the ball through the air efficiently without costly mistakes, something Levis has failed to deliver. His turnover issues, which have already hampered the team this season, are likely to continue against the Bills in this matchup. While it's understandable that some bettors may be tempted to back the Titans, especially with underdogs covering at a high rate this season, the Bills are one of those teams that tend to dominate at home when they find their rhythm. Buffalo's ability to rack up big wins on their turf makes them a difficult team to bet against, especially against an inconsistent opponent like Tennessee. Injuries are always a concern for the Bills, and their long-term health will play a role in their playoff prospects. However, for this game, Buffalo is in a good position to take care of business and cover the spread. Tennessee's inability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bills in a high-scoring affair further strengthens the case for Buffalo as the clear favorite. Therefore, the Buffalo Bills to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. One of the most glaring issues for Tennessee this season has been their offense, particularly the performance of rookie quarterback Will Levis. So far, Levis has posted a 5-7 to seven touchdown to interception ratio and leads the NFL in turnovers with 10, despite the Titans having already taken their bye week. Although the offense has shown the capability to string together a few decent drives, they struggle to finish those drives with touchdowns. This inability to convert in the red zone frequently leaves them settling for field goals, which limits their scoring potential and places added pressure on their defense. This inefficiency has also resulted in the Titans' defense spending more time on the field, as stalled drives shorten the offense's time of possession. Despite their offensive struggles, Tennessee's defense has been a bright spot. The Titans rank first in the NFL in total defense, allowing an average of only 248.8 yards per game. Their secondary has been particularly dominant, leading the league in pass defense and stifling opposing quarterbacks. This defensive prowess creates a unique challenge for Buffalo, which has recently struggled to generate explosive plays. Even with Josh Allen at quarterback, the Bills may find it difficult to break through Tennessee's disciplined defense. A low-scoring, grinded-out contest could very well be the outcome, as the Titans' defensive capabilities might frustrate Buffalo's offense and keep the point total below expectations. While the Bills have the firepower to put up points in bunches on any given day, the Titans' ability to control the tempo with their defense and force Buffalo into long drives could result in a more methodical and lower scoring affair. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.